Hi, uh, welcome. Uh, this is uh, Vinay and I am presenting the tool Concat uh, and I am from the team Beaufort. This demo uh, is mainly uh, required since during the in-class presentation there was an error while uh, changing the displays in uh, Windows and that le uh, led to uh, the VM uh, thro throwing an error. So since it could not be restarted properly during the in uh, span of the in-class presentation, this demo is supposed to be a whole guide to how uh, the the uh, to demonstrate the functionality of the tool in detail as mentioned in the paper concat as a tool has a wide range of applications uh, but the main uh, application mentioned in the uh, research paper was th that of architecture conformance in order to check if the architecture which we uh, initially visualized was the architecture which we finally designed or not or if there are uh, there are unwanted dependencies which have creeped in so uh, let us take a look at a very basic functionality of uh, Concat which is static anal analysis. So uh, as uh, this is actually a model uh, for that which shows uh, that all of the to uh, once the lines are tokened and uh, this is a, a static analysis for a li lines of code analyzer and this uh, finds the lines of code in JUnit currently. So this is a run file for this analysis and once we uh, once we launch launch this Concat analysis as you can see it's been running in the console here and now it has finished and it has also. Uh, uh, executed properly and so now we can see at uh, see what uh, exactly happened in this so the output uh, can be seen in the index.html which is generated so if we go to loc we can see that uh, this has generated the uh, static analysis for this wherein it has analyzed the number of lines of code in each of the files in the JUnit package so this is a very uh, basic functionality of LOC, of uh, concat but the main functionality which has been mentioned in the paper and which is our main area of interest is architecture conformance wherein we uh, define an architecture and we uh, see if it adheres to that architecture so uh, let's take an example at, uh, let's take a look at how that ex ex works out so uh, we are we already have an architecture designed for uh, junit so if we look at this architecture initially uh, this is the current uh, architecture which we proposed so and this is the analysis which sees if the archi actual architecture of uh, JUnit matches with this so once we launch this concat analysis as you can see in the console here it's running and uh, it has finished execution and it has uh, executed uh, properly so uh, now uh, we can see in JUnit architecture this will generate a dependencies.xml file now if we uh, load that file we can see that uh, there have there are edges which should not have been there all the other edges have been marked as valid and this edge has, marked, has been marked as unvalid because this dependency was not initially mentioned by us we can uh, put in various filters in this uh, analysis and look at it as in we can uh, remove the invalid ones or we can remove the valid ones and only look at the invalid ones so this is one output generated by the uh, concat tool another way would also be to look at the static uh, file which uh, can be found in uh, the output folder the index.html which is a static analysis uh, file so if you take a look at it our, uh, the, this is the initial architecture description which we have provided and this is the assessment which has been generated by uh, concat and the, this is the edge which has been wrongfully uh, designed in the JUnit architecture so we can put in various, various filters and look at only the violations and violations and tolerations wherein uh, this edge we do not have any exact specification so we allow it although we do not need it so in this way we can uh, load various things and look at how our architecture varies from the required architecture and which uh, dependencies we need to eliminate in order to make it conform to the initially mentioned architecture this uh, the, the main application of this tool is to eliminate security risks wherein component between components if there's a communication which is not required then uh, that can be eliminated by running this analysis so this completes the presentation and the demo for the tool concat thank you